Each year, the Swindon Festival of Literature starts with Dawn Chorus in the Lawn Woods at Sunrise. Daring to be different, this unusual opening to a festival of literature has fire jugglers, storytellers and musicians entertaining the crowds as the sun rises over Swindon. The idea for a Swindon Festival of Literature sprang for a gathering of writers, literature lovers, musicians and poets who began celebrating the written word in various events hosted by Matt Holland at Lowershore Farm. The official launch of the town's first literary festival was 21 years ago when Matt undertook the daunting task of enticing authors from all over the UK and abroad to come to Swindon. The festival gradually built up a reputation as a festival to share new ideas, hear old stories and listen to good readings. There was the shock of the fall and the blood on my knee and Simon carried me all the way back to the caravan all by himself without any help from anyone even though it half killed him but he did it anyway. He did it for me. So, in the end, why read? There are as many answers to this question as there are readers. My answer is that reading opens your mind to alternative ways of thinking and feeling. My name is Ozymandias, King of Kings. Look on my works, ye mighty, and despair. Over the years, Many famous faces have all contributed to putting the railway town on the literary map. Uh, take Sydney Carton in A Tale of Two Cities. Uh, that is a far, far better thing that I do. It's mm -hmm. wonderful, I'll flourish that one. But what he's doing is redeeming a completely wasted life. I saw this advert um, for um, teenage writers because they're going to start this brand new teenage magazine, Jackie, and I thought, perhaps arrogantly, because I was very young, I'll have a go. But if you want to just talk about um, what you think, you know, um, all the things that sort of arise in a lively conversation, the great place to come to is a literary festival. The Swindon Festival is not all about famous names. The two-week hub of literature aims to encourage the writers of tomorrow. This is my poem to you, my love. This is every man's daily life and his worst nightmare. Which will leave you nothing but a string of exes. We're actually going to support the other gender. She give me a slap if I can. In conversation with style evenings, proved very popular at the Swindon Festival. Hmm. What happened? You started buying music in 1977. <laughs> yeah. I had my head turned by the NME, basically. I absolutely, I didn't really know why, because I'm sure there were lots of other girls who might have seen the enemy at that time, which felt quite alienated by it. Well, you actually said, what good are the arts? There was what's good are the arts, yes, yes. that's right, yes, yes. Well, and I remember yes. you saying at some point that music and painting were all right, but the greatest art was, begins with L. <laughs> but I said this is purely subjective. Music and good lyrics also make up part of the Swindon Festival of Literature. Ukulele societies that have sprung up are, are ways that people are coming together, using the internet, internet to come together once a week in their local town or village. There is always a fun element to the festival and Matt throws open Lower Shore Farm for a family day for the little ones and organises a fun run through the beautiful Lydiard Park. You hear the finish of a Swindon run. Here's a cup of tea. Thank you. Isn't that nice? Yeah, Wasn't yeah. that fun? How important is the Swindon Festival of Literature to authors in this digital age? As well as a pleasure, it's an essential part, I think, of a, of a writer's life. The Swindon Literary Festival has been a tremendous experience. I go to literary festivals uh, every few weeks. Each one is different. Uh, this one miraculously keeps to time. Yeah, it's kind of a, you know, it's a, it's a big professional festival, but it has that uh, very kind of intimate and, and homely feel as well. Town groups such as the Scratch Choir and the Swindon Philosophical Society are keen to join the festival ranks. Access to a genuinely private life where we can express ourselves beyond public scrutiny and judgment is of great importance. Of course, the festival is the perfect place for writers to showcase their new books. You need to do the book. 
I committed to doing a couple of marathons. Well, it's a treat for me to come and talk about the book, which is Fighting on the Home Front, and it's all about the women, uh, many of them absolute unsung heroines, people who were nationally famous a hundred years ago, who did fantastically interesting things. Swindon's Town Hall provides a fitting venue for the festival finale, with poets, storytellers and musicians rounding off two weeks of adventures in literature. It's a long, dark, dull night without unexpected, unexplained, unlikely adventures. The Swindon Literary Festival has been a tremendous experience. I'm fell in love with the festival. I think it's a, it's a wonderful festival. Well, happy birthday, 21st. Uh, finally grown up.